What's good YouTube? In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite concepts and I'm kind of doing just a little mini series here on the channel showing you different ways that you can create really effective concepts without a lot of hot routes and without a lot of route abilities. So I'm using the Packers uh, in this tip breakdown. We're not going to be using any route running abilities for this. And this is going to be something out of uh, the Trips Tight End. Uh, you guys probably know by now that I personally love uh, the Trips Tight End formation. And this is one of my favorite little West Coasty. Um, short yardage passing style plays. Now, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And by becoming a member, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, uh, the link is down in the description. I'm in the New England Patriots playbook, but honestly, you could do this um, out of Detroit as well. I'm just going to be going over the play curl flat today. And really one of my favorite setups out of this con out of this play. So what we're going to be doing uh, with this setup is fairly simple. Um, all we're going to be doing here is we're going to out route our tight end. And then we're going to motion our running back out. And we're going to streak him. Now what I like about this setup is it is a five out setup that spaces the field really, really well. The best piece of trips tight end is its ability to spread the field and attack quick. Okay, that's why I love this formation. So um, our first read here is we're gonna look to the running back. If that cornerback is gonna squat down on the tight end, then we're gonna throw the running back route. If he's gonna bail, we're gonna try to hit this tight end route. And then our third read is gonna be this post, and then we have this backside curl flat concept uh, essentially as a check down. Okay, so snap the ball, we look, he bails, but we can throw this out route, and we're gonna take this out route every single time. This out route is really good um, against a lot of different coverages that you're gonna face, uh, one of them being man to man. So again, just super simple, only a couple hot routes. Notice that the um, in man to man, sometimes the alignment can get a little wonky with this. Um, you know, so keep that in mind. This circle receiver is really the best route on the play. And against man-to-man, -man, you know, that's going to be your primary read. But a lot of people, what they like to do is they like to blitz, you know, heavy. And um, maybe, you know, you get something like this or trying to send pressure. Notice that that guy's not really in a good position to be able to consistently stop that tight end, especially if you have short and elite on that tight end. So when it comes down to it, man coverage, um, you have a lot of options. The first option is your fade um, don't sleep on this option you see here that i can basically pass lead him open um, i'm not using free form uh, i technically have it enabled but i'm not going to free form the pass i'm just going to throw it normal basically but basically just a normal bullet pass to the leverage of the receiver so like if the receiver gets inside leverage like right here you see the inside leverage we're just going to pass lead it inside we're going to click on and we're going to make a catch it's really simple but it's really effective against man okay now, let's say that to take that away, they're going to shade uh, uh, inside. Okay, let's say they shade inside. So now you see here I have leverage over the top. So I can throw the ball over the top, and you would be a surprised at how consistent that animation right there is. What I like to do whenever I throw the ball over the top, especially on like a fade route like that, is we're going to basically throw this ball with a free form and a high point up and over the top. So I see, okay, he's got over shoulder leverage. Once he clears the press, I'm gonna free form up and over the top. And a lot of times it's gonna give you that catch animation right there. So now they're in a the position where they're gonna to have to have safety help over the top to handle a basic streak to the running back, which I think is pretty interesting. So they're gonna put safety help over the top and this is gonna open up the middle um, of the field. So by putting the safety help over top now, um, you're going to see here, we can obviously hit our tight end quick. If that's not open, then we can wait on this post and you see how open that post is over the middle of the field. Now, the other thing that we can do is this curl route I want to talk about is really underrated um, for a couple of different reasons. One of them is that a lot of times your opponent will put an outside third over there on the left side. But another reason is because you can actually free form these curls uh, against man-to-man. So we're just going to free form down. And you see he's going to catch that possession, catch it, 
super easy. Now, um, again, let's say that they shade. I'll, I'll go to shade underneath in just a second. But again, let's just say we're getting basic leverage. The same thing. So I'm looking right. No, no. And then come back. You don't have to freeform it. So right there, I did not freeform it. I just pass let it down into the out to the outside to the leverage. Right. You're basically just pass leading the leverage against man, and it's pretty effective. Okay. So again, here, pass lead down. Boom. Open. Okay. Now, I uh, want to show you this against uh, shaded underneath man coverage. This uh, curl. Whoops, I messed up my motion. Motion the wrong guy. Uh, what I would do if I was you and I was hot routing this play, I would um, streak the running back, then motion him out, and then put the out route. It's going to be better. But anyways, here, you're going to see here, you can still kind of throw. Ah, he kind of picked it, but you can still kind of throw this curl like and shade it down, man. Um, you know, even if they're shading, you know, inside and they're shading underneath and all of that stuff, my experience has been that I can still throw this curl. The other thing is my running back will be wide open, especially if they don't press him. Okay. Actually, there, right there. Okay, that's actually a better example. If you get that animation right there where the cornerback is going to, like, teleport in front of him, then you cannot throw the ball. Okay. Uh, so then just keep that in mind. Okay. But really, the beauty of this is if they shade underneath – and there's no safety help, and there's no safety help in man, then you have the running back wide open. This post is really good as well. Um, if you if you ever get in a position where you want a little bit more for man, put the backside guy on a smart routed in route, and you'll see here he'll be able to beat man. Uh, the beauty of this uh, post is it's really good. Uh, this post breaks down cover three, cover four, cover two. It beats every zone in the game. It, it basically has to be usered. Um, I think that's the easiest way to explain this. The pose has to be usered. So, you know, again, this is just a simple right to left read. Really easy for your quarterback. As long as you don't do under pressure and accuracy. But you see, you know, the post route's wide open. And again, we're only making two hot routes. So you could probably get away with just streaking the running back um, and running the play that way. But I love, love this out route. Um, most people that defend trips... They're not going to respect your tight end quick out. I'm just telling you. Um, you need to make them respect something like this. Because if they have to respect this, then everything over here is going to be more open. Let me give you an example. So, again, to stop the, the tight end route, they basically have to play hard flats to that side. So if they play hard flats out of cover three, you see that's taken away, the post taken away. But my curl is wide open, as you can see right there. And again, a lot of people like to inside third that safety. Um, a lot of people like to inside third that guy. So this has become you know one of my favorite plays because it just breaks down coverages so well, uh, and it's fairly simple uh, to be honest. You also get pretty crazy route bounces from the flat. But anyway, if you want to learn the rest of the trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up, and it gets you access to all of my Madden Twenty Three offensive and defensive ebooks as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership's active. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.